In level three, we introduce portals to our scratch puzzles. Let's start with level 3.1. If we look inside, we have a portal with an in arrow here, one that seems to be going inside, and a portal with an out arrow over here. So this is our portal enter down here and our portal exit up here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take Sydney through the portal and over to the end. Let's see how that works. If we use the more blocks section and use the right block a total of one, two, three times, that will take us onto the in portal. Then that will automatically move us over here and we'll need to go one, two, three squares more to the right to get to the end. So that will be three plus three should be a total of six. So let's use a repeat block to move right six times. Then we'll use a win block at the end to see if it, the solution works. Let's try it. Great, our solution worked. Now in 3.2, instead of just having one portal entrance and one portal exit, we have two portal exits. If we look inside, one of them is pink and one of them is orange. We'll be able to use that later. Now let's create a program that takes Sydney from the start just to this enter portal and we'll see where it pops us out. So to do that, we'll use a couple of repeat blocks. One to take us up and one to take us to the right. How many times do we need to go up? One, two, three, four. So we'll go four and use an up block here. And how many times do we need to go to the right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll use six as our number here and the right block. Now let's just see how that program runs without taking us to the end. The green flag. And as we arrive at the portal, it pops us out at the orange exit portal. Now let's stop and try running it again. It took us to the orange portal again. This time it took us to the pink portal. Now that's because this entrance portal will actually randomly select which of these two exit portals to take us to. And because of that, in order to make a program that truly wins every single time, we'll need to make one that behaves differently depending on whether we exit at the pink portal or the orange portal. To do that, we'll use another block from the control section. If then, we'll be using this version because there are two different outcomes that we wanna consider. One is that we land on the pink square right here, in which case we'd wanna move down one square to win. And the other case is if we land on this orange square, in which case we would need to move up one square to win. So how do we do this? Well, we'll use something from the sensing tab, which we haven't used up until now. There's a block that says touching color. We'll put it in here in this diamond shaped area. This diamond shaped area indicates that we're testing for some particular condition. So in this case, the condition is whether Sydney is touching a particular color. To set the color, we'll click the color square and then click pink up here. This means that we're checking to see if Sydney is touching that color pink. Now, if Sydney is touching the color pink, we want him to move down one square to get to the finish. So we'll use a single down block right here. And if he's not touching that square after having passed through the portal, after going up four and right six, then it means that he's landed on the orange square. So then we would want him to go up one. And at the end, use the wind block as usual. So let's see how our program works. This time we went out at the orange square and it worked, we won. So let's try it again. It also worked when we came out on the pink square. So try it out. Use if then else blocks or just if then blocks to control what Sydney does depending on what color he lands on.